That was terrible. Okay, everyone, welcome to another episode of Until I Die. In this episode, I will be playing Resident Evil, but not the Resident Evil that you may know and love. This is a port of Resident Evil released for the Game Boy Color. Actually, it wasn't released. I'll get into that in a minute. Let's start this up, see how this works. New game, obviously. Uh, okay, we have Chris and Jill. Chris and Jill. We play as Chris in my LP for Resident Evil, so I'm gonna play as Jill here. Oh my god. Stop it! Don't open that door! Jeez, they're even doing the door thing. How can you tell? There's no table. Oh my god, this is terrible. What the hell is up? The okay, the music started. <laughs> oh, jeez. What in the hell? This is terrible. I mean, it's it's something it's incredible considering it's Game Boy and Game Boy Color. But come on. Oh, the audio is terrible. Okay. Apparently what this game was, and I had to look this up, I found out about this while I was, uh, uh, reading some, uh, oh, whoops, there we go. Reading something about the first Resident Evil game. This game was never released. This version of, uh, Resident Evil was never released. It was developed by Capcom as an attempt to port Resident Evil to the Game Boy Color, and unlike the game, the Resident Evil game that did eventually find its way to the Game Boy Color, this appears to have been an attempt of a straight port of the game. Obviously, the PlayStation, which was the target platform of Resident Evil, is a vastly more powerful piece of hardware than the Game Boy Color, which explains this terrible version, attempting to emulate, or not emulate, but uh, copy the kind of gameplay that we saw in Resident Evil and Putting it in the Game Boy Color just did not work out right. <laughs> okay, we have a zombie here. Uh, ah, ah, okay, uh, where is it? How do we use the gun? Okay, there we go. There we go! Oh, got him! Die! Is it dead? It's, oh, okay. It fell to its knees, and that signifies death. Alright. <laughs> should be, uh... Who is this again? I'm sure I'll take a clip. I'm not quite sure I have an ammo limit here, do I? There's no number next to the gun. I'll take the clips anyway. Oh, it's Kenneth. 
Well, anyway, it was released. I was never. The game was never released because. I mean, well, look at it. Would you be willing to put your name on this? I mean, it is a remarkably good version of the game considering the platform it's on. I never would have even expected them to produce something this good, but come on, no. It never even should have been attempted. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. Up, oh, up! Oh, the zombie disappeared. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get back to the dining room. What? Can only one of them move at a time? Well, in the original Resident Evil, by that I mean the PlayStation ver- Oh wait, I have no control, never mind. I was gonna say, you had to wander either back here or upstairs in order to trigger the next scene. Apparently the game's gonna do all this for us. I hope that's the emulator screwing this up, because that sound is terrible. The Master of Unlocking! I mean, all the shitty dialogue is intact, too. This time I'll be there. I never understood what that was supposed to mean. And why does Barry look like he's in bondage? Anyway, since we're the master of unlocking, we should be able to unlock this door without finding the sword key. Uh, by this door, I mean the door on the other side. Oh, okay, can I get the map? Cause, oh, the map's up there! Oh, sweet. And, uh... Ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Where's the zombie? Uh, I don't quite get that, but it worked out for me. I like how surprisingly detailed the, uh, the world map is. But the original Resident Evil was a, uh, a game that had 3D characters wandering around on top of a 2D, like, pre-rendered background. Apparently, like, something similar to what we're doing here, there's obviously a pre-rendered background. Very low resolution and kind of crappy looking. Oh, more than... That? That's supposed to be a map? Does that look like a map to you? The... We have the pre-rendered background. Looks good for a Game Boy game. But we have no 3D graphics to speak of, so they have these weird, looks like eight-sided sprites that they're playing as, wandering around, almost in like a pseudo 3D environment. But uh, hey, what do you know? No dogs? Didn't dogs usually attack you here in Resident Evil? Uh, 
okay. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Ha, 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 ha. I guess that's a red herb. I am not going to take that, because I do kind of want to die in during this. I don't want to beat this game. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to tolerate playing this a whole hell of a lot, long time. Let's see if I can get the shotgun, though. Now, back in the original version of this game, you could go and collect the shotgun from this room and not replace it with the broken shotgun. It's an easy way of getting a powerful weapon early in the game. And in Chris's scenario, you had to go and replace it with a broken shotgun because that triggered the trap. In Jill's version of the game, however, it was possible to get Barry to let you out. Okay, it's not apparent at all that the floor, that the roof is collapsing downward. I'm gonna kick this door down! And he doesn't kick the door down. Oh, okay, that's weird. Ah, well, we're doing this again. Okay. Where the hell did Barry go? Did we not have a conversation? Can I go through here again? Apparently I can. Shouldn't be able to. Ah, whatever. We got a shotgun now, so that's great. And... Shotgun. Whoops. I don't think I have to worry about ammo. Yeah, I definitely would have run out of ammo by now if that feature were implemented in the game. Ha ha ha! Zombie! Ha! Ha! Zombie down! On his knees. Did I not just see a zombie in my way, and it disappeared? I see what I assume are memory addresses down in hex code at the bottom of the screen. You're not imagining that. That is actually part of the game I'm seeing. Ooh, magic item box should be in here. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> <laughs> Why even bother showing that? Load screens are... Oh, zombie, zombie. Oh, I think it attacked me. Load screens are not... Don't quite work. Uh, it's not as though old console games that used cartridges didn't have to load. It was just that they loaded very quickly. So, like, Resident Evil for one was known to have relatively long load times, and they hit it behind these, uh, doors that you would, uh, you would walk through in a first-person view, and that was how they disguised their load times. But, uh, it probably wasn't even necessary with the Game Boy, but they did it anyway, for whatever- Ah, shit! <laughs> uh, well, I think I just died. Yep, I died. Oh, well, that's the end of this episode, so thanks for watching. We both suffered through this together, I guess, and see you next time.